Welcome back to another AI Practitioner Exam Byte. Reviewing the question from the previous episode, identifying the most relevant metric, the correct answer is D, the AI's ability to handle both investment and loan related queries accurately. This is the most relevant metric for measuring cross-domain performance in this scenario. Cross-domain performance, as mentioned in the previous episode, measures how well the AI performs across different areas or tasks. Today, we're kicking off the final task statement in the fundamentals of generative AI domain, which is task statement 2.3. Describe AWS infrastructure and technologies for building generative AI applications. In particular, we're gonna be looking at the exam objective, identify AWS services and features to develop generative AI applications. For example, Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart, Amazon Bedrock, Party Rock, and Amazon Bedrock Playground and Amazon Q. Now this is really exciting as we're now going to see how we can practically implement generative AI solutions on AWS using some of the cutting edge AWS services. First up, we have Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart. It offers a variety of pre-built solutions and pre-trained models that you can deploy with just a few clicks. This has been around for quite some time, predating most of the other services we're gonna cover in this section. It originally was used for speeding up the development of traditional ML models, but with the rise in generative AI, it also now includes many open source generative AI models. As you can see, we have categories like text generation and image generation. These models come from a variety of sources and model hubs. The jumpstart part of SageMaker Jumpstart is they have pre-built templates which allow you to set up infrastructure for training, fine tuning, deployment, and evaluation of models easily. So it does require a little bit of work in terms of managing your own infrastructure along with writing or customizing training code. So what happens if you want to fine tune or deploy generative AI models without writing any code using a fully managed environment? Well, Amazon Bedrock is AWS's fully managed service for accessing foundation models through a single API. It's designed for building and scaling generative AI applications without the need to manage infrastructure or write any code. Here you can see models from AI leaders like AI21 Labs, Anthropic, Cohere, Meta, Stability AI, and Amazon's own models. These cover a wide range of capabilities from text generation to image creation. What's really powerful about Bedrock is all the models are accessed through that single unified API hosted by AWS. You just create your request with the model details, the prompt and inference parameters, and send that to the API, and then it will call the model and return a response. It's that easy. And there's even a part of Bedrock called Bedrock Playgrounds, which allows you to experiment with Bedrock models without the need to call them via an API, providing an easy way to experiment and see which model and parameters might suit your use case best. For those who want to experiment with developing generative AI models without any coding or even an AWS account, there's Party Rock. Party Rock is a special Amazon Bedrock playground that lets you create AI powered apps without writing a single line of code. And it exists outside of the AWS account ecosystem, so you don't even need an AWS account. And to top it all off, it's free. Here we're creating a simple app to provide advice on what I should wear to a dinner, depending on the people I'm going with, the type of restaurant and the occasion. You can even share your creations with others, fostering collaboration and innovation. Finally, let's look at Amazon Q. Now there's a few different flavors of Amazon Q and we're gonna be looking at two of them. Amazon Q Business is designed to be your company's AI powered assistant, capable of understanding and working with your organization's data and systems. We can provide Q Business with a repository of our own data, such as financial reports, and it can then access and use this data when formulating a response to a user's prompt. Q Business can also help with tasks like generating reports or summarizing meetings. There's also Amazon Q Developer, formerly known as Amazon Code Whisperer. Amazon Q Developer is specifically tailored for software development tasks, making it a powerful tool for coders and DevOps professionals. We can use Q Developer to help us write code based on a text-based prompt, making developers more efficient. Additionally, Q Developer can also review code for potential security issues, along with suggestions for how to address them. 
Let's do a quick review question. A large enterprise wants to implement an AI assistant that can access company specific data, answer employee questions and help with internal document generation. Which service would be most suitable for this use case? A. Amazon Bedrock B. Amazon Q Business C. Amazon Q Developer or D. Amazon SageMaker Jumpstart Post your answer in the comments and we'll review this question in our next episode where we're going to look at the advantages of using AWS Generative AI services to build applications. See you then.